Hello world! Here we have a simple little analog joystick module. It can detect motion on the X and Y axis and it has a little switch. First I'll just go ahead and, and connect this up. So we have motion on the X and Y axis and it acts as a switch when you push down. So I'll go through hooking up the wires. I'll speed this part of the video up. It's not very interesting. First I'll connect X to the analog zero pin and the Y axis to the analog one pin and the switch I'll put on pin 11. It, it really doesn't matter. Now for the code. First we want to define uh, constants representing the pins that are listening to each of the components of the joystick. So we have the switch on pin 11. We have the X pin on A0, which represents the analog zero pin. And we have the Y pin on A1. Pin 11 is, of course, a digital pin. It's, it's either on or off. While the X and Y are analog, they can detect values from 0 to 1023. In the setup, we want to listen to the serial port. We'll use 9600 bits per second. It's usually fast enough. And we'll initialize the switch to be in a high state. Now each time through the loop, we want to read the X value We want to read the Y value. And we want to read the switch value. For the X and Y, we'll use analog read. And for the switch, we'll use digital read. They work pretty similar. Now I just want to print out some stuff to the serial port so that we can see what sort of data we're getting from this joystick. So I'm going to put the X and Y values in uh, parentheses. Print the open parenthesis. Print the X value. Then a comma to separate them. Then print the Y value. Then the closing parenthesis. Let's uh, put a space here, just give ourselves some room. And finally, print out a value indicating whether the switch is pressed or not. I'm going to use a ternary operator, which is sort of shorthand for an if else statement. So we say if. If the switch value is zero, then we'll call that pressed. Or else, if the switch value is not zero, then we just print out a couple of dashes to indicate nothing. Finally, we want to print a new line at the end so that each reading comes out on its own line. And then we'll delay for some time. Let's put this 150 milliseconds. So this loop will run every 150 milliseconds. Now you can see the outputs are not, it's not perfectly centered. It's showing 512 and 528. 
If I push up, the X is showing 1022 to the right. My Y value is 1023 left. The Y value does go all the way down to zero. And when I push down, the X value goes to zero. Here, when I press the button in, I see it's detecting that the button is pressed. Uh, in theory, if I move the joystick just a little bit, I'll get just a little bit of change in these X and Y values. It doesn't give a very predictable value, but it does look like it will work uh, well enough to detect uh, up and down and left and right, as well as the button press. So that's it. Once you have this set up, you can combine those numbers with whatever else you are doing in your project. Thank you for watching.